I finally 3D printed Hextraction. This is Hextraction, an open source 3D printed game originally designed by Zach Friedman. And this is the super fancy remix by Inaudible. All links and credit will be in the description of this video. I have been wanting to 3D print this since I watched Zach's video and finally got a chance to finish it so let me show you how it turned out for me before i take these off and show you what's underneath let me show you how it works the idea is to put these tiles uh, to form a path to these final end goals this is the miss uh, balls so anything that goes on the side or underneath will end up here in the middle so that's not the end actual goal this is just an easy way to collect the extra falling balls and these are the actual goals. And so let's say I will drop the ball uh, here and you can see it end up in this goal. This one kind of flew all the way, but let's try about this one here. You see here it gets stuck, but uh, let's try this path here. And the this one actually worked. So this is how it works. Again, I will link to the original video if you want to watch that, which I highly recommend. Now, We'll take this tile off just to show you what's inside. By the way, I ended up 3D printing this container uh, for the balls here, and it looks very good here. So now uh, let me take this tile off so to, just to show you what's underneath. Uh, once again, I will leave links in the description for everything that if you want to print this for yourself. But now let me just remove these tiles. And by the way, I recommend printing these tiles at the very end because you're going to need a few different one of them and these can be the very last thing you print um, let me show you here this is the plate that you want to print first so i really recommend you start with this plate first you're going to need some super glue uh, any good super glue should work um, but yeah this is the plate here uh, the back plates uh, so let me turn this over this back plate just to hold any falling balls and they will land in the middle over here. Uh, this is the side also to catch anything falling from the side. So actually, now let me show you where is, uh, so if I drop a ball here, um, hopefully you can see this. So I'm gonna put it here in the falls. You see it falls here instead of going somewhere that you have to chase it. Uh, same with the side. So if I drop it from the side, um, it should come here. Uh, this one did get stuck, but you get the idea. Let's try another one. Um, I'll have to dig that one out, but uh, let me show you here. If I drop another one here, it actually pushed the other one and we have it over here. So, but you get the idea. So now we have all the balls that falling over here. Overall, I love this design. Uh, and Audible did a great job documenting everything and uh, how to print this in what order again i will leave the link in the description uh, the one feedback i have is the legs height could have been a little bit higher you can see it would sit better if it was just a tiny bit higher it would sit much better and the balls can flow just a little bit better which i will end up doing so i need to extend these legs by about half an inch there is a leg extension but it's just not enough and if you add another one it would be too high uh, I will have to probably cut this in half and then attach another uh, about half an inch to their legs. So other than that, I love it. I'm going to try to play it with some friends. Overall, uh, this is something that's been on my list, and I just wanted to show this in a video. Uh, let me also show you that the hot glue gun I used here at the back to seal things. You're going to need some super glue, so start with the middle plate come to the back plate, do the sides, and then at the end, you can add the goal part and the launch uh, section here. And the very end, you can add the corners and the legs. Um, the tiles can go last and they can just fit anywhere. I will link to everything in the description. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.